Today we have a 2015 Mazda 6. We're gonna be changing a couple things. Main one would be these wheel hubs. And finally, we have these quick struts already put together. So we're gonna take off the wheels. That's a 21 millimeter. From the top, we're gonna get this clip. These clips gotta pull forward and then out. From, from the top, we're gonna get these two bolts for the caliper. And then there's one at the bottom. Now, since we're gonna be taking the strut out, we gotta hang it over here. There is a um, solid piece of metal there, on, right next to the brake line. Just gonna hang it there. That way there's no pressure on the brake line. Now we're gonna take our rotor off. Okay, on the nut here, we're gonna add some penetrating fluid. As far as these four bolts, two up here and two down below. So the next one is a 32 millimeter axle nut. Our axle is pretty loose. Usually they're kind of stuck on there. And if it is, you gotta put the nut back and you gotta hammer it a couple times till it pops out a little. And it should just have some play like that. On the back of the hub, there's gonna be four 14 millimeter bolts that we gotta get around the axle. I'm gonna actually use a, either a long durable ratchet or a breaker bar to loosen these up. There's most like, likely Loctite on them. So they're gonna be a little tough to get out. There's one. Now we got these two below. Couldn't see that other one, but here's the last bolt. Now that they're loose, go ahead and take them all the way out. That's three. That's number four. So usually these are kind of stuck on. And what I like to do is hit it with an air hammer side to side, and then we could pop it out. Next part, we're gonna be putting a slide hammer. Still gonna have to be tight, which is pretty snug. We're gonna be taking this dust cover off. Try hard not to bend it, which will be kind of impossible, especially if you're in a rusty state. We're gonna spray some penetrating fluid on those bolts. Now we gotta spray the sway bar link with penetrating fluid. We gotta take off those clips for the ABS wheel speed sensor. There's one there, and then on the side of the strut right here. Now there's a size five Allen, and then there is a, it's a 15 ratcheting wrench. The nuts are 23 mils. On this side, they are 21 mils. Now we're gonna get our jack close. After we got our sway bar link, cleared our brake line, or our ABS uh, sensor wire. Make sure nothing is stuck on it. Everything is off the strut. We can take this bolt off. From the top, we got three 14 millimeter bolts. Go ahead and have somebody help you grab the bottom. Now we're gonna get the two parts, compare them, make sure they're the same. You're gonna pull this tag off and now we're ready to put it on. So we got our strut, we're gonna put it towards the top. You're gonna need help for this. And if it's not straight, we're gonna go ahead and just turn it. Now we're gonna get our bolts in. And then use a jack if you need to, put it up or down depending. I know some of you guys will be doing this by yourself. Now you can just hammer the bolt all the way through. Now we're gonna put pressure down below. We're gonna push it up with the jack. Imitate the weight of the vehicle. I don't know the exact foot pounds on this, but go ahead and tighten them. 
get your three bolts over here tightened up. Now we gotta go ahead and spray it and clean it off right here with the metal brush before we put our hub back on. We're gonna get some anti-seeds on the splines right here as well as the threads. Now we gotta do the other surface where the hub is gonna meet. Now we're gonna line up the dust cover to the hub. I'm gonna meet it through the axle. Try to meet up the threads on the bolts. And this could get some time to line up. Then go ahead and put some Loctite on the bolts to the hub. Make sure your axle is lined up correctly. Now you can go ahead and tighten those bolts. What you wanna do is meet it close. Start tightening them little by little, just so it meets the surface. Let's put our axle nut back on. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the rotor on. We like to put anti-seize on the hub, just so it doesn't rust on there. And then grab the caliper. You gotta get the line through like that. And then this clip, you gotta push through. It's got a little notch. And go ahead and hit it with the dead blow. Go ahead and tighten your caliper bolts. All right, we're gonna put our sway bar link back in. Push it through, put the nut on. So we ended up having to put a zip tie since this broke off inside of the strut in the old strut so this is how we're gonna put it after we got everything done before we put our wheel on we want to clean off the rotor some brake cleaner get all the grease off or anything that could have touched it so it doesn't affect our braking sometimes our dust cover here can rub on the rotor and start making noises so try to turn this and see if you can hear anything if that's the case, go ahead and bend it back a little bit. Now we can go ahead and put our wheel on. After you do that both sides, you should be good to go. Now if you like this video, go ahead, give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.